Well, my name is Francis Keenan. That's my full name. No middle names or anything. So, what year was it when you first went to Zambia? 1957. And that was, that was the system then. If you were going to be permanently attached to uh, an area, you went out as a scholastic for three years. And it gave you an opportunity to get to know the place, to learn the language, and uh, it gave you an opportunity to come back to Milltown to do theology, and that if you didn't fancy the life in Zambia or Hong Kong, you, you were f free to make a choice then. Yes. Well, yes, we went out on Union Castle. I went out on a ship that was built in Belfast, so that was actually... We went out on the Edinburgh Castle, and, uh, oh, that was marvellous, two weeks from Southampton down to Cape Town. And then four days by rail up to what was Rhodesia, northern Rhodesia. So it was a tremendous experience. We had a marvellous trip out. And the trip in the ship was marvellous. And uh, then the ship up, on, the trip up in the train was marvellous also. That was the Cape Town to Cairo railway. Really, that was it, yes. We didn't quite make it to Cairo, but <laughs> we made it to Lusaka. In that, well, he made it up to northern Rhodesia, and that was it. I had already at that time in conversation with the man who was going to be our bishop in Monsey. He was rector in Midtown, James Corby, and it became clear after a while he, he was going to go uh, for the bishop. He had great, showed great interest in Zambia and in Chikuni. And then it was revealed, yes, he's going as the bishop. And uh, I saw him and had conversations with him and made propositions. And uh, I, my view was that we should have proper training facility for catechists. And that they would uh, be a great asset to the priests and all the rest. And James was all for that. Before you mentioned that you have photographs going back to 1957. So is yes. this... The, the start of your interest in photography coincided with your that, first trip to Zambia. That was it, yes. I was always interested in photography, but I couldn't indulge the interest in any way. But when I went there, I was given a little box camera, a little Kodak, and it took terrific little pictures, you know, and some of them I have been able to blow up and make them quite enlarge, good enlargements. Once I got back to Zambia then, I had a tremendous scope, and I... I covered the big events there, you know, ordinations and things like that. Mm. So I really was happy, and I've got a lot of them, I've got them all there. Yeah. I left all the prints in the archives in Lusaka and brought back the negatives. Right. So you found yourself back in Zambia in the sort of in the early 60s at this stage? Uh, 66, 66 I was back, yeah. Okay. Because, uh, 64 I finished in Milton, 65 year was tertianship in Rathfarnham, and then 66 in Brussels. Mm. So that it was in August 66, I think, I arrived back in the time there. And were you based in Lusaka? That's no, which? I was down in Monsey, the, the, center, the southern province. In those days, that was the Irish area before the whole thing became one province. It was the Irish area and that's where we all worked and, and had a, lived and had our being in, in Monday in the southern province. And a few people filtered up to Lusaka, but I had never any great interest in living in Lusaka. Um, what was it like back then, Monday? Was it? Uh... Oh, it was marvellous. It was terrific. We, uh, independence had just come. 1964. And so things were developing at a terrific rate in the whole country. Uh, and James Corboy had just been made bishop. And so things were developing at a terrific rate in the church. 